close your eyes and get in touch with what's going on in your breath. When you meditate, we're listening to the body, listening to the mind. It's like listening to a sound that's far away. So you have to make yourself very, very quiet so you can hear. And then you begin to notice what's going on inside here. It's, these are things that are happening all the time. When the Buddha describes how suffering is caused, they're things we're doing all the time. Yet we're not aware of it. That's why we keep on doing them. It's when we're aware of what we're doing, that's when we get a chance to have a handle on this, this problem of why are there things weighing down the heart, why are there things weighing down the mind. So it's not that the problem is far away, the problem is right in here, but it's subtle. And it's in an area where we tend not to look, so learn to look inside in a new way. And try to keep the mind as quiet as you can so you can see subtle things. And then you begin to realize that there's an inconsistency inside to let you know, okay, now the mind is doing something, now it's not. It's like the hum of a re refrigerator. As long as the refrigerator keeps humming, 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 you don't really notice it. It's when it's stopped or when it stops up, starts up again. That's when you notice oh, that there's a humming refrigerator in the house. And it's the same with the mind. You learn to look for times when the mind changes, when the level of stress goes up, when it goes down. And see if there's something that you're doing along with it. It's in those ups and downs. That's when you begin to notice things. But again, you have to be quiet, because otherwise if you're humming to yourself, you're not going to hear the hum of the refrigerator. Even when it stops, it starts, starts up again. So try to keep the mind as quiet as you can. And that way you get to see things that are already there, but you've overlooked. And it turns out those are the ones that make the big difference in the mind.